With the Perseverance uh, Mars rover now beginning its surface mission, we want to show you how it actually got there with the help of some extremely talented, brainy people right here <laughs> in western New York. Well, Channel 2's Ron Plants has more on that space magic that happens at the Moog Plants in Elma and Niagara Falls every day. It's a legacy thing in western New York a cradle of aviation and aerospace, and much of it happening on this sprawling corporate campus in Elma and a smaller operation in Niagara Falls. An unassuming sign, but they're inside. Hundreds of people designing and making the parts that have helped launch and control missions from the moon landing to the shuttle, and of course, now the Perseverance rover. Moog actually played a pretty big role in the mission overall from um, fueling on the ground to launch to the spacecraft to the landing. Moog's tiny rockets actually steered the spacecraft on its way to Mars, and Moog's throttle valve engines were part of that scary 7-minute, 12,000 mile per hour entry, and then the descent with that sky crane down to the surface. And now Moog valves will clean the rover's drills used for soil samples in that search for possible tiny microbes or fossils of ancient Martian life. All in a day's or decades work at Moog, according to this UB grad. We, we pump out a, a, a lot of hardware that goes to outer space. Um, a lot of things launch, a lot of things that you see that launch in the space. Global communication satellites have our hardware on them all over. Um, but you kind of get used to it um, after you work at it a while. It's, it's these space missions like uh, Perseverance, like Curiosity. Um, there's you know, several more coming in the future um, that, that you're likely to see. Um, those, those NASA exploration missions, they have a lot of high visibility. Um, they generate a lot of buzz, a lot of interest, and it really gets people excited. I want to say the majority of folks that work on the, the Alma and the Niagara Falls campus um, are, are Western New Yorkers. Are you hoping that someday you and everybody there at Moog will have a chance to be part of a manned mission to Mars someday? Absolutely. i uh, really excited about any opportunities coming around to, to build hardware for it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Ron. Going now to Mars. Yeah, it could happen. I don't like to go to the grocery store. That's <laughs> far enough. I, I didn't think imagine. you'd volunteer. But anyway, we want to let you know that Perseverance, or Percy as some are calling it, has its own Twitter handle. It's a long way to go, Mary Alice. <laughs> yeah, you can follow it at NASA Persevere, and its list is hobbies as photography, collecting rocks, and off-roading.